Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Playing in the standard champs today. On a Saturday, it's a five round tournament. I can't remember what the prize is for winning this. We're gonna actually just gonna run the Mono Red Infection. I don't think we showed enough uh, gameplay on RogueDeckBuilder.com. So I'm gonna, I, it's between this and Green White Enchantments. I made a split decision here at the very end. Green White was probably the right. Both of these are, are kind of uh, decks that, where I would say the cat is out of the bag decks, meaning that red aggro decks and green white enchantment decks have had their place in standard and the metagame has shifted to beat them. So I'm hoping that now the metagame has shifted again to beat the decks that are beating the decks. And then I'm going to run this deck and go underneath the radar. That's the hope. So I'm hoping to see a lot of Abzan and we're going to go ahead and keep this. A lot of three colored decks. It's a pretty decent first turn. And it is going to be most like an Abzan, or a Warden of the First Tree. So it's going to be a Abzan Aggro is going to be the card, or the, the deck. And we should match up fairly well against that. I think we will just run out a Lightning Berserker, because I think I want to get value out of the Crusader. So if he has like an ultimate price, I want him to kill the Berserker, not the Crusader. And lands like Lanor Waste are incredibly good for us because he's already hindering his own life total. And I think I just let this go through. He can make it a 3-3 three, three at any, well, yeah, at any time. So see if he does that. Just decides to get him for one. I think his life total is a lot more threatening. Um, oh, hang see so the hangar by Walker is pretty good, but I think we'll be we'll be fine here because now we can go uh, Crusader, and I don't think he'll use the hangar back Walker just for a token. So I think we'll just Dragon Mantle on the Crusader. And then swing it for two. And he could surprise me here. He could block the Berserker with the Hangerback Walker and sub a 1-1. One, one. I doubt it, though. I, well, he does. He does. That is that is interesting. He'll still have a, uh, a Thopter token. He's down to an 18, and every every little teeny bit of life, life is very relevant in this matchup. So he doesn't have to spend life for a green for a black source now, but he does for a green source still. And then he still has to find a white source. See, so much scrying. Almost thought about putting smash to smithereens. We'll bring in we'll we'll bring in a scouring sands for this matchup for sure. And things like uh, Twin Bolt. I did cut down the Twin Bolt for Magma Jets, though. So that's a, you'll see the deck tech. Uh, I'm sure that I'll... In the sideboard, you'll see my, my changes. Very subtle changes. And now he's running Hairbreak Walker. I probably won't bring in the uh, Akruin Line Breaker, either. Let's see how he does this. He'll probably just attack in with the Warden again. Maybe he'll leave it back to block. I think I'll just, I'll just um, main phase a coordinated assault this turn. Just so I get another soldier token. So far, so good. Still missing that that white source. Oh, she's just gonna go ahead and do that. That's smart. So I can't like magma jet it in response. Hammerhand is a very good card.
And I'll make it so his warden can't block. And then I could Magma Jet off his Thopter token, but I think that I might just coordinate Assault. Or just keep up a Magma Jet. Because Team or Battle Rage is, is... Nah, Team or Battle Rage isn't the right play here. I think I just swing in here. And keep up a Magma Jet. Because I do want to scry too. I need to find some cards for the next turn. I will coordinate Assault now. Because that saves a guy. Puts out another token. Still does another damage. Plus we can still pump up the Crusader. And he's down to a 14. Loses his... Or 13, excuse me. Yeah, because the, the first strike damage was on first. Down to a 13. Loses his Hangerback Walker token. And we have a lot of our own tokens out here. We just need to continue to ping him down little by little. He could have like a Drown in Sorrow. You never know when those come out of nowhere and his Warden will survive. That will be pretty much the worst case scenario. Finds his white source, but it's a little late, and it comes into play tap. That This is exactly how our deck capitalizes. And it's a morph card, which is going to be a den protector, most likely. So I think we need to get rid of it right now. Right before the... And I think we put both of them on bottom. I don't think I need this min this much double strike. I think I just attacking with everything, and if I need to pump, I'll do so to kill his warden. Warden's getting a little bit scary. The life link is. Pretty relevant. And I, I'm just going to throw out a Swiss Spear. Because this is it lifelink he gets next? Yes, he does. Gets trample and lifelink. So we'll throw out the Swiss Spear. Which I had to do after because of the mana. Siege Rhino's very rough if he has a Siege Rhino. The Team of Battle Rage is looking really good, though, because we can, we can blast through a Rhino now. Hammerhand will also be a great draw if we draw another Hammerhand. So there's a Siege Rhino. It's a bit problematic. He's up to a 12. That might just stabilize him. Um, I think that we're going to have to play the long game here. We're trying to do a lot of damage in one turn, so I'm going to add it. And we can play a coordinated assault. Maybe I do attack him with everything, because if he, he blocks at the Crusader, I lose my Crusader. This will go up to a three. He'll just block here and one of the soldiers and then take three, four. I don't think that's worth it. 
Guess what's coordinated assault? Here and here just to get a token. There are worse things that have happened. Yeah, all he would do is lose. I'd lose a Crusader and then he would take five. And I don't think that's worth it. I think I'm just going to pass. So we might actually lose this one a bit. The double teamer battle rages end up being pretty bad. I don't think Infectious Bloodlust... Oh, I've, I've cut Infectious Bloodlust to the sideboard, too. I know it was the whole point to the deck was Infectious Bloodlust. Gotta avoid this guy getting... 5 plus 1 plus 1 counters, for sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And he's... He's there. He's gonna be a Fleece Main Lion. He only has one more card in hand, though. And he can give this Warden life link at any time. So Titan Strength is very good. We have Titan String the Teamer Battle Rage. Will that be enough to kill him with Life Link? I could Titan Strength right now on the Crusader just to get another card. And that puts him up to a 5. And then Double Strike will Double Strike through anything. But I don't think it's worth the token. So I think I just I swing in with everything. And hope we can just do enough damage. He does have one card in hand. So on the Swiss Spear. So can I keep the Abbot alive by giving it first strike? I kind of just want to get the soldier and then... Because he could have removal in his hand still. So I guess we just go for it. Because this is enough. Uh, we'll top this. Oh, that isn't enough quite. If we, Because if we team or battle rage. I still think we do, though. Because he can just give his guy a lifelink. But I still should be okay, though. We, we don't lose a Swiss Spear. We do lose an Abbot. And a token. I'm hoping we can just push through. Ah, oh, he's got an Exile. That, that really hurts. That's his last card. Still get him for two damage, and we get a, a fleece main line out. And we still have a dragon Madalana. Yeah, that might end up being the game. The absent term was brutal. And a Johnny. Johnny's actually not not the greatest card versus us. He can distribute counters. I 
gets going on the ward, and that's... Yeah, that was a great top deck, actually. He decides to split him, though. Well, let's see what we can do. And there's an Abbot. I don't think we can wait another turn. I think we have to team or battle rage. Which will only bring our, our guy up to a 3-3, three, three, though. Because he just gives this lifelink and I lose. Right? He can give this lifelink and make it a... So make it a warrior and lifelink in the same turn. Or a spirit lifelink tra and trample. So, if I cast a team or battle rage, he goes up to a three without with with, with double strike, which, which can kill off his warden. And then he could, he would just take three though. Yeah, this is this this isn't gonna end up working for us. I think the life link warden is gonna get us. And we lose a Swiss Bear. And he gets another chance to top deck. We need like a hammer hand on the Warden. Like, what he needs to do is just attack in with the Warden. And I guess I should have gone for double striking my Abbot. And that way he would have had to block. Or had to lose his Siege Rhino. Going for the kill was a little bit... Ends up being the wrong play for sure. Now he's got an 8-8 eight eight Warden. And he's going to give it Lifelink. Yeah, and then just tack in for it. And, then, and that should be enough. Because I'm down to a 17. I don't think I, there's anything I can do that can deal with that amount. I mean, I need to hit a hammer hand here. He can just put counters on this guy next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He just blocks with the Siege Rhino. And that's game. We didn't hit anything but a land there either. So a hammer hand would have actually worked. Hammer hand on on his siege rhino. Couldn't be able to block. This goes up to a three. And then team or battle rage would have gone up to a four. And then five would be 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, that would have definitely been enough. So if I just kill a siege rhino, what ends up happening? Do I just have to hold back for one turn and try to team or battle rage? No, it still doesn't do enough. He just needs to block the Swiss here. I don't even think it matters if he doesn't. Because I don't think we can get nearly up to what we need to. Yeah, I can only do 10 damage. Because the team or battle rage make this guy 3, 6, that's game. Alright, so onto the sideboard. He's kind of a, 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 a mid, mid range. Uh, he's just He's just mid range. So I don't even know if these like wild slashes need to come in. I'll just bring in Roast. I think Roast does a good job of taking care of most. And then Magma Jet's kind of weird. Magma Jet's just weak in this deck. I don't think I make a lot of 
changes. Line breaker could you could say line breaker is is something you can get through. He does have hanger back walkers though, and a lot of removal. And I tend tend to not bring in line breaker versus anything except for mono green. So I'm just gonna submit this with the roast. Uh, we keep this. This is a great card. This is an amazing hand. If if here's the big if, if this crusader can actually stay alive for long. I don't think they have any first turn removal though. Ugh. Do I roast that off and just get it over with? No, I can wait. I can definitely wait and just kind of force him into. I'm going to coordinate assault both of them, even though this is one less damage. We'll attack with all the creatures. Let's do at least this to a four. He's not going to block. Down to a 15. Not bad. For uh, a turn two. We'll roast his, his warden if he decides to pump it. Just policeman will roast that. Or I could just tighten strength. Nah. Fleeceman gets roasted. So he's down to a 10, thanks to the windswept teeth. And that comes into play tapped. And hopefully he doesn't have another early drop, like a hanger back walker. I actually would like to hit a land drop this next turn, because it's just a free card with dragon mantle. Dragon Metal will go on a Crusader. We'll get a 1 1. Alright, so the command is going to put a 1 1 in fight. That's okay. Yeah, we'll do a Swiss Bear here. Maybe a dragon metal. No, Swiss Spirit before the dragon metal for sure. And this point, we don't care if he kills a crusader after we dragon metal it. Again, if we hit a, a land drop, this will be awesome. I'm not going to attack him with the Crusader because now we have a hammer hand. No, we do. We do. He'll block it, but he loses 5 life. Why would he block a soldier? Yeah, he's going to see the, the folly here. There we go. Down to a five. Worst case scenario is Seed Rhino, but I think we can actually do fight against a Seed Rhino. Yeah, it looks like he has a Seed Rhino. He's just slamming it. He's up to an eight, but I, I don't think eight will work here. 
Come on, land off the top. Hoplite. We're still going to hammer hand on the Swiss Spear. And attack with everything. And if he blocks, that's over. That's going to be over 8. So we'll go to the sideboard. Jeez, those Wild Slash actually seems okay versus his... Wardens. But I think, is it just better than like coordinated assault? I'm going to, we have two roasts. I'm going to just submit this. It's working out. Here's where it's tough though is on the, on the play or on the draw. We'll keep this as a roast and a crusader. I'm at team or battle rages. I probably should have cut for wild slashes. So he gets a first turn temple. I need to avoid drawing lands. Another abbot. Those are good for, for late for late game, but early game abbots aren't the greatest. I'm gonna roast whatever he puts out this turn. Even a walker. Yeah, we'll roast that. That'll be a nice roast target. Yeah, and I think the story of the game is I, I should have cut these teamers. Teamers are, are are doing nothing. They're just too mana intensive for my deck. And with Crusaders, they haven't been the greatest. And in this matchup, I think I just need to overwhelm with a lot of tokens. I don't think he's running Drowning Stars. He could be. We'll run an Abbot out here. And we can play Swiss Spear. So that ends up being a good little draw. And he's down to a 17. He could put out a Seed Round this turn. And that'll be terrible for me. Those Rhinos. He's had one every game. All right. So another Swiss Spear. And then we just might have to use a Team or Battle Rage on a Seed Rhino. I think we'll go another Abbot. And play that, I guess. Oh, man. If he has, like, a Languish, we're so dead. There's no Languish. Johnny will be weird here if he's gotten a Johnny. I need non-creature spells we can play here. Double Teamer Battle Rage wouldn't be too shabby, though, because we have double Abbots. Gotta think he's got a lot of removal in his hand. He definitely is in the driver's seat. Just a little surprised off a Crusader. That's the weakest one at this point. I don't want to be using a Crusader. That is kind of televising. Okay, he probably has another Abzan charm in hand. I need him to tap out. We're just going to pass the turn. Three cards left in his hand. See if another Siege Rhino comes out. Ugh, that's 
hard, it's hard for me to deal with two siege rhinos. He does have two cards left in his deck. See, I'm, I might just Titan Strength the Scry right here. I think it's it's now or never to go for it. So... We'll Titan Strength. And that's a good one. Now we can roast away Siege Rhino. He's going to kill an Abbot here, but take a lot of damage. Down to an 8. We'll pass the turn, and hopefully he doesn't have another Siege Rhino. A Warden would actually even be good, because he can give it lifelink. <laughs> oh joy I think we're still okay though I need to land off the top triple siege rhinos Courtney assault is okay yeah we'll, we'll attack with everything again On a Lightning Berserker, huh? I don't think he can kill both. Swiss Spear and Swiss Spear. Because he wants to kill my... Abbott with an ultimate price. So I can't get this guy above a 3-4. Is that correct? If I team or battle rage the Abbot, he'll die though. 8, 9, 10, 11... And let's kill that and then kill that. So I have to go to Team or Battle Rage. On my own Swiss Spear. And I hope he doesn't have the ultimate price. And that should be... He's down to a 1. Ugh. Down to a one. Keep everything alive. So I guess a team or battle rage on the Abbott would have just finished him, but I had to worry about that ultimate prize. And offensive, we should just win here. And move on. He has two cards. A command a command could kill two. Could kill the unblocked. But Titan Strength should be... Yeah, Titan Strength should win. So he does have a command, so we're just going to tighten strength.
and team or battle rage on the abbot and he can't do both now and he'll just take one I believe, yeah, yeah, there's no way you can get out of this. Fought through three seed rhinos. Three of them. Because the last card in his hand is going to be a, a drama command. He can fight off the lightning berserker that's to the side. And still take one. Alrighty, so we're, we are 1-0. We'll go on to the next match. In the stand, what is this called? A standard chance? This has been Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.